What's up folks? Welcome back to the garage. As you can see, the Saab 99 EMS is already on jack stands and ready for brake service. Uh, I have received new gaskets for the right front brake caliber and uh, now my older son is here to help me. First we will uh, remove the brake pads and, uh, and the brake line and then we will uh, try to take the brake caliber out, it should be quite easy and we have a good instructions. Yeah, we got a new repair kit for, for the brakes. This is ERT, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, made in Spain. This was the only version I, I can get from the local shop. And the gaskets are here. Uh, and I hope these will fit. And we have also a thick, we have also thick instruction book. Manual is in Finnish, so I'm not going to translate it, but uh, here's the theory how the brake works and uh, there's the braking uh, position and uh, uh, resting position and then we have instructions how to remove the brake pads, how to do that and so on, so on. So luckily we have uh, good instructions and next I will show you how we will do that in action. First we will open the nuts here and uh, remove the uh, brake line. We will raise the line up here uh, to this spring to avoid uh, the brake fluid leak as much as possible. We will lose some, uh, but it is what it is. <laughs> and next we will remove the, this U uh, pin there's pin also there and then we can pull it out and after that we should get the brake pads out easily and there's two bolts that are holding the uh, brake caliber and after opening those bolts we should get the, the whole caliber. caliber here is here on the table as you can see from here it's clearly leaking leaking from here so the the gasket has failed first we have to clean this caliber properly and then we just follow the finish instructions that clean clean the uh, brake unit and then follow the instructions here and uh, it should be quite a uh, simple task, I hope.
we managed to get the both pistons out uh, and uh, actually this one hit the wall please can you <laughs> film there <laughs> and the caliber is here I used uh, compressed air I usually use grease and uh, the uh, grease press but this time I used compressed air like they said in, in instructions I know that it might be it, it might surprise uh, sometimes the compressed air like in this situation I had even a rag around the caliber but still this came out like a bullet <laughs> and uh, we had to put it back to get this bigger pistons out first but now everything is okay and I have cleaned the pistons and uh, next thing is that we have to change these uh, these gaskets here on I have used this ATA uh, hydraulic uh, grease when I'm I'm assembling the brakes this is uh, yeah I can use this with a dot three dot four and dot five point one uh, brake fluids so this should be should be okay also for this project I managed to fit the pistons back in and now they should be right there's the there's the gap for the dust cover and they are even with the with the brake caliber and same thing here on the other side so they are ready for the dust covers they should be okay but I have a problem I didn't find any place for these o-rings <laughs> I don't know if the reason is that uh, the calibers are modified so that the handbrake takes to the rear rear uh, wheels not the front wheels so that might be the reason I even have the picture here that uh, it should be there and two of those should be there but I couldn't find a good place for those o-rings but the thing uh, the main thing was these uh, piston gaskets number six there and there because I think that was the one which was leaking and now I have new gaskets and the pistons are back in so next I will put the dust covers and uh, clean and assemble the brake caliber and then fit it back and I hope that after that the caliber will hold the pressure now the brake caliber should be ready for installation I have new dust covers here they fit it very well I used the uh, assembly grease and there's also new on this side and I managed to put this saddle right on the on the uh, caliber and I used some grease there between the uh, sliding surfaces now it moves okay oops <laughs> now I just have to fix it great uh, but I had these instructions so it should be should be okay there should be there in between these should be like uh, 0 0.3 millimeters and it looks like like that but I now, now just have to put it back together <laughs> and then I will fit it back to the car now I fit the brake caliber it should be okay there's some brake fluid on the on the disc but it's not a big problem I just have to dry it uh, so then it will will be easier to find out it's if it's still leaking from somewhere it should be okay but now I just have to put the pads back on and uh, add some brake fluid and then test how it works and I hope it doesn't leak anymore now I managed to 
fit the pads and uh, the wheel or oh, the disc is still spinning I uh, bleeded the brakes there's no leaks no fluid on the floor and I already filled up the brake fluid so now it seems that I managed to change successfully the <laughs> gasket of the brake pistons which is very nice and uh, next thing is that I have to check the uh, gearbox leak because there's uh, oil coming out of the gearbox and I think it's from the from the rear but I have to check it I think I first I have to add some oil to make sure that I know where it is leaking job done now it's a perfect time to hit the like button thank you very much and uh, comments down below that would be a great and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet now it's a perfect time to do that also and remember to ring the bell thanks for watching and uh, see you soon